What's up everybody, Stepdez here with another Bloons Tower Defense 5 gaming vlog. Thank you again, all 16 of you subscribers, for tuning in. This is going to be just a quick update video, so do excuse how I'm playing here. I just saw that there was a totem event, and I was like, okay, you know what? I'll play some more Bloons, probably get some more footage for some more of these gaming vlogs. I'm still scrolling through a lot of the Orcs Must Die 2 and keep talking and nobody explodes footage. My uploads are going to be limited to one a night until the internet situation gets sorted out. I'm used to a lot faster internet than what I was getting when my friend Austin was here. And I'm all the way down to 10 megabits per second. It is a pain to, to say that. It really is. Like, I had great internet when I was at the hotel, but it was unsecured. So I didn't go to a whole lot of YouTube or, or any other site for that. I didn't even trust Wikipedia when I was on that because I know Wikipedia has ads. That being said, one a night and a half an hour video could take up to five or six hours to upload. Last night, when I uploaded the most recent Streets of Rogue video that I put out, which the next part of that is going to come out uh, as soon as I'm done with this gaming vlog. That video took five to six hours, when normally I would expect it to take maybe one. That was, it, it was insane. It was absolutely ridiculous. And we're looking into other options for our internet service other than the company that I'm with, which I'll go ahead and reveal that company next time uh, I get the... Schmidt! Seriously, you're not supposed to do that though. Technically, we're still on their internet. They, we could get in trouble for this. Don't joke about that, man. Well, if they shut down the internet, then I'm not going to be able to get any videos out, am I? Exactly. So for now, we're going to have to just stick with it. All right. Good. Now, go, go off and keep editing the Orcs Must Die 2 videos, man. This is a vlog. I, I want to talk to the people. All right, yeah, good, you do that. All right, back to what I was saying. Uh, so, uploads are gonna be kind of hard until we switch over or get, well, Schmidt already said it, get CenturyLink sorted out. It's, it's been a pain. It's been, it's been a real pain to get through this. Also, I'm still working, which also because of the snow, my boss hadn't shown up for work, so I'd had to do everything that he normally does, and that also added on to my schedule. Matter of fact, as I'm recording this, my eyes are closed and my head is in my hand. Yeah, I'm, I'm exhausted. But, I'm sticking in there so I can, you know, I'm sticking in there. God. That's how tired I am. Ugh. I'm I'm hanging in there so I can get this content out to you guys. I will get more videos out once my internet situation is sorted out. A lot more better than what it is right now. And one series that I'm gonna start as soon as my internet is in fact better. A series that I can get up every day. A series that I can do multiple recordings in one session the first day that I get off. I'm probably gonna do a lot of the recordings in one session as soon as I'm done with all of the Orcs Must Die videos. Oh, good lord, Austin. Thank you very much for all of that. Oh, hanging on my computer. I have well over three quarters of a gig. So no, not even gig. I have well over 200 gigs of footage thanks to my friend. So I'm working through that as fast as I can. Um, 
My job su Yes, bad job. Yep, yep, the grocery job. Yep. It sucks because of how late the truck's been, and I had to pull a full day today, so again, I'm sorry I don't sound very enthused. But I do, I do, I do not feel well. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I do not feel well. Um, but that's not gonna stop me, I'm gonna still muscle through it and try to get uploads to you beautiful people out there. So, what did I do? I mean, I, I, I mentioned a hotel. Well, that's what happened. So, I have, I've been away from my desktop because my boss needed me to come in on the days. Like, the, the store manager needed me to come in on the days. And I, I wanted to come in because this is following a vacation. It's bad if... It was bad enough that because of weather the week before my vacation, I only worked three days. And then I took a week off. So it was, it was horrible for me. I hated it. I absolutely hated it. But I wasn't gonna about to do that again. So what my boss did was he said, look, just bring me the receipt, go stay in a hotel nearby, and go ahead and just do your thing. That way you can come back to work. So I kept my parking lot, uh, parking lot in my car. Yep, there it is. I kept my car in the parking lot and walked to this hotel not five minutes away. Like a 15 minute walk to and from work uh, for two straight days. I like this hotel because the complimentary breakfast is good. I like the room was very homey. The only, I only have two main complaints. One, in the middle of winter, if you sleep in the wrong bed, you're freezing because the first room that I was in, the heater was pointed directly at one of the beds. And that is bad design. That is that is a bad design choice. Because the other person would be cold. And unfortunately, I was the idiot that decided, oh, I'm going to sleep in the bed that's not next to the, the AC unit. The second night, it wasn't so bad, but that's where the second complaint comes in. The beds were hard as rock. And I imagine... Getting a hotel where the beds are not hard as rock is, uh, there, there's very few and far between. Um, but considering my arthritis and considering how I like to have a nice soft bed, I, I'm very much welcoming my bed. Like last night was, I was like, yes, oh my god, this feels so much more comfortable than that, that bed that I was in. So, I'm very happy about that. I'm very happy to be back home, especially considering I'm working on videos again, which was also keeping me depressed when I was at the hotel. I was like, ah, I don't even have a notebook to maybe write up a script for a review, which I want to get a review series out. I don't have my notebook that I've been scribing notes for the, um, for the SFM. You know, I, I want to get back into that stuff, which I'm going to. After I'm done getting through the, all the Orpheus Die 2 dialogue. Uh, oops, I hit the mic. But, bottom line, I'm getting back to it. It's just gonna be a pain in order to get a lot out. I am recording, I've recorded the Tales, from the, Tales of the, from the Borderlands episodes. I've recorded them. Uh, for, ep for chapter three? Or is it, is it chapters or episodes? Whatever. Um, I have recorded through the next part of Tales from the Borderlands. So, there's that. It's there. I cleared up enough room in the Orcs Must Die 2 to get that. So I'm happy about that. Will I be able to get it out? Uh, eventually. But it is, it is recorded. I'll have to go through and edit it just to be sure I'm not coming out really loud. Like right now when I'm yelling into the microphone. Less than an inch from it, you know. It, 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 I don't want. I don't want to sound like that. So, bottom line, when it comes out, it comes out. But I want to get the internet situation sorted out so that I can get maybe some Team Fortress 2 stuff taken care of. Um, I've still got that watermark activate window, but you're gonna see all throughout the Orcs Must Die 2 footage. I'm sorry, but in order for me to have consistency at least after this whole debacle. I'm going to get the Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes series up that I did with Austin. But that doesn't mean the series is going to be over now. I'll have more on that in just a bit. 
Um, but I want to get rid of that activate windows. And unfortunately, the last windows that was updated on this computer was Windows 8. So I'm going to have to pull money out of my freaking pocket and get a new license for Windows, which sucks. But you know what? I would, because of how smart I am with my money, 200 bucks ain't much. All right, like, I just need to cut back on my meals because good lord, I spend a lot of money on food. And enjoy just taking it easy. Maybe going on a walk every now and then. Spend a little bit of time on YouTube. Ugh. Ugh, a lot. And really just focus for a couple weeks. Just focus on what's important. My car payment, my phone payment, and that's it. You know, just, just the basic stuff. Because then I can put my money towards YouTube and, well, I to put my money towards the computer and towards YouTube and try to really get some quality content out for you guys. Because that's what I want to do. Um, I really want to, to make a good go of this. And I hope it takes off. I'm, I'm praying it takes off. Ah, well, you know what? I'm not praying. I'm just really, really hoping. So thank you all so much for watching. Um, like I said, to keep talking and nobody explodes, that will go on after Austin because I have a couple of friends lined up. One of them, Gar, you subscribe to the channel. I'm talking to you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You and I are gonna defuse some bombs, so you better be good at with that manual. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be fun. A colorblind person defusing bombs. <sighs> All right. So yeah, after Gar, it'll it'll totally do that, and then maybe the next time I see Austin, we'll continue keep talking. Nobody explodes, where he's defusing the bomb. So there's that. Orcs Must Die 2 will come out as soon as I'm done getting rid of Activate Windows and getting Orcs Must Die 1 footage recorded. Until then, I'm gonna deal with OBS so that you guys don't see the watermark. Um, probably Shovel Knight. Rider, probably, uh, I don't know what other games off the top of my head. Probably Risk of Rain. You know, I could do that with, with a friend. But there's, there's other games that I can play with OBS. Like Tales from the Borderlands, for example. I can do that with OBS as well. So, thank you all so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.